hi good evening i am making these videos for my students let's continue with the video today we are going to discuss about spaces and zones in revit these tools are same like rooms in architecture modeling but spaces and zones are so much different from rooms spaces and zones are more important for mechanical modeling today we are discussing this to just to have a knowledge of space and zone okay so here we are in the analyze tab and here we have spaces and zones panel and here you can see one two three four five we have five tools the first one is space you can read here places analytical spaces to account for the entire volume within the model this includes rooms plenum and chases space tool is like room tool in architecture modeling i can show you how it works let's choose the tool and here you can see place spaces automatically highlight boundary and tag on placement for now tag on placement it is checked now that's okay and here we can see here upper limit is ground floor we have an offset and we are going to place this as horizontal we don't have any leader and the space going to be new space okay first we should know in which level we are so we are in the ground floor here you can see we are in the ground floor i'm going to take space and here the upper limit is from ground floor it is eight feet above i can place the space automatically but for now i'm going to place it manually and here you can see once i move my cursor inside a room you can see here it is highlighting the boundary and it is showing a cross mark okay so in case if i place here and revit is automatically tagging the space this space has a name and a number in case if you want to match this name and number with the room then you can go to space naming tool here and you can select names and numbers from rooms to space and if i say okay and here you can see selection all levels we have only one level selected now ground floor is here and i'm going to say okay you can see here the name just got changed to conference and the number got changed to the room number and we should know how we got this room name and room number actually what you see here is a linked model if i go to 3d view you can see here this is a linked model and i don't have any model within this project in case if i go to visibility graphics and if i uncheck and i can see i don't have anything modeled i don't have anything modeled in this project i just have a linked file i'm going to visibility graphics and i'm going to check the model now so without modeling anything you can define space and zone so that's a concept we are in the ground floor and we have only one floor modeled in the architecture model you can see here the entire building is empty and we have only one level modeled in the, in the architecture model okay so i'm going to ground floor when i'm selecting the linked file and if i go to properties right click and if i select properties you can see here the linked file name you can read here and if i go to edit type and you can see here room bounding it is checked so that means revit will consider the wall boundary as room bounding to define space 
select the tool and and place inside a room and to read the tag from the room go to space and naming and give ok and the tag will read from the room name and number the second tool is space separator and it will work exactly same like room separator if I select this tool and you can see it is highlighting the space I'm going to draw one line here and you can see the space name already it is conference once I draw the boundary from here to here you can see now this is highlighting only the half of the room and the name is conference and 106 in case if we define an another space for this area I'm going to select space and I'm going to place here again I'm going to space naming names and number I'm going to say ok and here you can see this is dividing the room as 1 and 2 and it's naming as conference 1 and conference 2 likewise the number also change it to 106 hyphen 1 and 106 hyphen 2 in case while placing the space if the tag on is unchecked and if I place the space and you can see the space got placed but I can't read any name and number to tag the space I can go to the third tool space tag and then I can place my tag I'm giving double escape the fourth tool you know how it works for now we have space and a number if I go to space and naming and if I am asking Revit to read names and number from room to space and if I say ok it's going to read the room name and number when you are selecting the space in the property bar you can read the constraints level upper limit limit offset and base offset you can see and this space also referring to electrical lighting electrical load some volume dimensions and mechanical flow so all this data is associated with the space for now everything is zero but once you put HVAC equipment and electrical elements then the space is going to read those values from your HVAC equipments for now it is everything is zero okay at last we have zone tool zone defines HVAC zones within a project we are defining a zone to design HVAC and to calculate the amount of cooling load required for example I'm going to show you how to define zone in project to define zone you need to have space in place if I take zone and you can see here I can add space or remove space once I'm done with the selection I can finish editing zone so now I can select the space and you can see here once I select it is drawing a rectangular box if I select the another space nearby and you can see it is extending the boundary now I'm going to finish and here you can see when I'm just moving my cursor in between these two space and I can highlight HVAC zone now it is named as zone 2 and if I select the zone you can read the properties 
it is showing all about energy analysis I'm going to show you again to define zone you should select the tool and here you can see as add space so I'm going to add this space and I'm going to take this space with this space so I'm going to add corridor also now you can see the boundary it, it is highlighting till here and I'm going to finish editing zone and if I select this zone and you can read the properties in the property palette so that's how you can define a zone if you want to edit a zone select the zone go to edit zone and then remove space and finish editing zone here in the drop down arrow you can see color scheme and area and volume computation we have some rules so you can select here if you want to change anything the color schema same like color schema for rooms for now we have spaces color scheme if we take annotate and color fill legend here if we place here spaces schema one I'm going to say ok and you can see here the spaces are highlighted with colors and you can see the legend here you can edit the schema if you want you can mention your own color I'm going to say ok go to analyze and you can see spaces and zones tools here that's all for today so these spaces and zones tools are very much important for mechanical and electrical plumbing modelers um, even though an architecture modeler or structural model don't use these tools but still it is better to have a knowledge of spaces and zones in Revit that's all for the day thanks for watching my video thank you bye bye